our recipes. And we also have two very special guests. And this is Haley. And this is Mallory. And they also have their own YouTube channel called the H&M Twins and you should definitely go subscribe to their channel. This video is going to be split into two parts. Half of us are going to be making non-edible Play-Doh and half are going to be making edible. And the non-edible Play-Doh recipe is, it's from the London Art Nanny. So let's get started. Hillary and I from the H&M Twins will be making the non-edible Play-Doh which is from the London Art Nanny. Because our bowls are so small, we had to adapt. So we use half a cup of salt and one half cup of flour. Yes. So now the one our egg says that you need to add the water in slowly. If it's too doughy, add some more flour. So now we are adding one tablespoon of vegetable oil to our very nice dish. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of conditioner. We're about to add our acrylic paint to give it color. And so we took a little bit of white out of our, we took a little bit of dough out of our bowl and put it into a separate one so we have some white. Consistency is just a little runny, so we're going to add a little bit of flour. So if this happens to you, just add a little bit of flour till it thickens up and then start kneading with your hands and it's going to look perfect. Now when, it, when you think it's starting to come together, it's a good time to start kneading with your hands and adding more flour slowly. So we took it out of the bowl and we started kneading it until it got to this consistency. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. You can roll it up into balls. When you, this is how you know when your recipe is done, when you can roll it into a ball and it stays there. That's how you know your recipe's done. All right guys, so the recipe from the London Art Nanny worked out really well. We really had a lot of fun and we're going to show you some of the things we made. I made a pig and a snake. And I made this turtle with the polka dots, which they kind of got smooshed on the way over here. I made this dog, a wrinkly elephant, a snake, and Mr. Lopsided, the penguin. I think he's lopsided because of his top hat. All right guys, now it's time for the other girls to show you how they make edible Play-Doh. You'll probably see us in there eating some of this. So. <laughs> Bye. And now we're here to make edible Play-Doh. And we made some yesterday. I got to taste it and it was really good. To make the edible Play-Doh, you'll be needing two ingredients. Powdered sugar and frosting. So let's get started. You'll need one cup of frosting. Now we're going to put our food coloring in. We will all be putting in different colors. You'll need one, a couple of drops. While Grace is mixing, we're going to put in our powdered sugar. I'm going to start with the mixer. I'm going to start with the handheld mixer and then we're going to switch.
when it gets to this consistency, you can knead it with your hands. If you run out of powdered sugar like we did, just add a little bit of flour to it. This is the finished product. Now we're going to play with our Play-Doh and bake some stuff. This is what the edible Play-Doh looks like. And this is a good prank to play on somebody. Which Play-Doh did you guys like the best? The edible. I like the non-edible. The edible. Which one did you like? I like the edible. I don't, I don't like the edible, it's too sugary. <laughs> Thank you to the London Art Annie for this recipe. Now let's do our taste test. And we hope you go and check out the H&M Twins YouTube channel.